Hey guys, I'm Ben Bond and I'm Jordan Gist and today we'll be talking about Under Armour and their developer Kevin Plank. Uh, Kevin Plank, he was a uh, Maryland University football player. He um, started up with $15,000 in cash and had around $40,000 in credit cards. He, uh, one of the first things he'd done, he started with locally purchased fabric. Um, he wanted to really shake up the athletic apparel industry. Uh, Kevin, he had a chip on his shoulder from, from playing football and we'll get to that reasoning and how it transferred over into him becoming a very successful businessman with developing Under Armour because of said chip. Like I said earlier, Kevin Plank had a chip on his shoulder and he was a football player. Um, he wanted a competitive edge on and off the field. Um, the on-field edge that he wanted, uh, he had the idea to get sweat off of his body. And to do that, he knew he had to find a better alternative than just cotton shirts. So he went down to the local fabric shop that Ben mentioned earlier, and it was called Minnesota Fabrics. He bought some fabric from them, um, took a, a small Hanes t-shirt that you can go to Walmart and buy, and took it to a local tailor and said, hey, can you make me some of these? And that was the first prototypes of Under Armour. And one of the one of the things, one, the reason he wanted to shed the sweat from him, he wasn't the biggest athlete, he wasn't the fastest athlete, so he had to find a competitive advantage somehow. And making this Under Armour shirts uh, kind of would help him out. For sure, for sure. Talking about that chip, that's that's his bread and butter. Um, the first year after it was all said and done, he made seventeen thousand in sales, and all of this was done out of his grandmother's house. I mean, crazy enough. Um, the NFL called and said, hey, Ke Kevin, we want to meet with you. Uh, we're going to swing by and chat with you. we got some, some news for you. He told them, no, that, uh, let's go to lunch. I'm buying. Uh, the first, his first big deal came with the NFL. He became the official supplier of the European League. Um, he didn't want them coming to his grandma's house because it's his grandma's house. I mean, <laughs> who, won't, who takes somebody serious if they're running a business out of the basement of their grandmother's house? Um, when it comes to his branding, uh, one of the names he wanted, he really wanted uh, was called Heart because you would wear your heart on your sleeve because, like I said, he wasn't the biggest athlete. He wasn't the fastest, so he had to find a competitive edge. Well, um, another name, you know, that name failed, so another name he come up with was called Body Armor. Well, this also didn't work because there were a lot of auto body shops in, in their industry that he had a friend that kind of helped him want to brand his name, well, the body armor didn't work because there was a couple of different uh, auto body shops that had already had that name. Well, his, uh, his brother kind of come in jokingly one day, they were going to lunch, and he said, how's that business going, you know, called uh, Under Armour, you know, he's like, hold on now, that just clicked, and he canceled lunch with his brother and called up and had that, had that name pretty much put in right then. Well, uh, he wanted to do something a little different with the with the spelling of it. He, he wanted to add an extra, uh, what was it, a U? He wanted to put an extra U in it so that it kind of stood out a little bit better to um, to people. Instead of, you know, 888 for armor, you know, he kind of wanted to put 888 for armor with the, the extra U in it so that it kind of just stood out to more people. Um, he also had an athlete wearing his uh, logo on the US Today which kind of helped put his name out there. You know, not a whole lot of people knew who he was until he started doing that. And when the, when that happened, you know, he kind of, he had the startup of where his branding kind of went into movies. Uh, one of the movies he done was Any Given Sunday, which is pictured on this slide. Yeah, that's Jamie Foxx there. And uh, the, the big branding, that came from that movie they always say is the jock strap Jamie wore. He, he's like hiked his leg up, but I wasn't going to picture that for you guys. I'll just give you a mental image anyway. Uh, and going back to the spelling of armor, uh, another reason he put the extra U in there was because he's had, he had so little success in the previous attempts to name his company that he thought, you know, if I, if I spell this wrong, Farsay, then, uh, 
there's a better chance he'll get it. So, and he did, and there they are today. Uh, some of the challenges that, that he faced as, as he got, you know, kind of into his project was uh, not wanting to devalue, devalue yourself. Um, a lot of people were just wanting him to kind of just give them the product. He did kind of start from what I had read. He kind of started with, he took some to the Maryland football players and that's kind of how he started out. Well, then, uh, that movie kind of come along and they kind of just wanted to give them about $40,000 worth of merchandise which, you know, kind of, you know, kind of pissed him off, I guess you would say. Yeah, a little slap in the face there. He, he was working with the directors of Any Given Sunday, and, you know, they said, hey, or he was like, Kevin was asking where he needed to send the invoice, and they turned to him and said, what invoice? Like, We're not paying you for this stuff. We're doing you a favor. And uh, so that's how, you know, he, he had some challenges, because, I mean, like, like anybody else, if you make something that you think is great you're not just going to want to hand it out um unless it's to like the football players because who else would you want wearing it it other than you know the people who you want to buy to wear it so that's like you see the university of maryland football team you know they that's that's still sponsored they they're still sponsored that's one of their big big things is the, the jerseys and the equipment and everything um, it also says uh, you don't want to stray away from the target market, which his main thing was athletic wear, athletic equipment, and, and things of that, that standard. Some of the benefits uh, that Kevin Plank talked about that he got from Under Armour, you know, he's a big slogan guy, a real big slogan-based company. And he says, when you do well, you can do good, meaning when they do well as a business, they can do good in the community. Which brings us to the next bullet, giving back to the community. Um, Kevin, you know, he's a, he started his business from his grandmother's like house. So he wasn't, you know, this blue-blooded, you know, American who just had a handout. It was like, hey, here's a business. He had to go out and earn it. So he wants to give back and give other people shots, and uh, he wants to make a habit of doing good. They, they as an Under Armour. They built a field and named it after Francis Scott Key called Banner Field, which I thought was really cool, real American too. And that field, it serves Digital Harbor High School and Francis Scott Key Middle School it, in the same time, like two birds, one stone. Um, the article also said that they did the same thing with Dunbar High School. Uh, moving forward with Plank's, uh, Plank wants to play a bigger role in the athletic industry, he uh, he wants to be more than just a shoe and apparel store. He uh, he wants to deliver the most update product, you know, today that that's going to help technologically advanced uh, things. That's going to help keep the athletes safer, you know, help them be the best athlete they can be. Um, and he, and he, one of his slogans is he wants to be the the being the greatest company in the history of the world. Oh uh, yeah, like I said. Their slogan based company and on their whiteboard, you know, most companies will have numbers or have, you know, a goal, you know, be good this month or be good at what you do. You know, they went above and beyond and they want to be the greatest company in the history of the world. And that is a bold statement. So, advice from Kevin Plank. Uh, he says success does not happen quickly. And you ask any successful business person or any average Joe just walking down the street, they, they'll tell you the same thing. Success doesn't happen quickly. He worked for what he has. You know, it all stemmed from that chip he had on his shoulder, not being the biggest, not being the fastest. And therefore, he was able to create something, you know, that represents him in that aspect. Um, perfect practice makes perfect. Uh, that is, you know, you can practice something over and over again, but if it's the wrong thing, it will be wrong the hundredth time, just like it was the first time. So once you do something, just perfect it and then just keep doing it. Um, never lose value or customer service. Plank, you know, he said he wants to be bigger than just a shoe or apparel brand. He wants to, you know, have a, a customer base and he wants to keep that customer base by not going away from the customer and, service. And or, that's where, and that's where, I mean, you're, that's who buys your product is your customers. So you've got to treat them right. You know, sometimes you may be in the wrong or something like that, but you've got to you've got to treat them right to keep them happy and make them come back to want to purchase your product too. Exactly, and a lot of things are getting, or a lot of companies are getting away from that customer service aspect. You know, you call just about anybody, you're going to get a robot. Well, you know, that's not 
valuable to me, and I don't know if it is to Ben, but we, I mean, if he keeps his value and keeps his customer service, he's going to keep his customers. So and another thing he says, if you have an idea, get it out there and see if it sells. You know, you never know until you know. So don't be afraid to try or, you know, give it an effort, you know, give the old college try, as they say. But uh, yeah, you got anything else on Kevin Plank or anything? Well, we appreciate your attention and hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks from Jordan and Ben. Thank you. Know.